What's up guys, I am Tone Blown from Malone Post and today's video we're going to be doing another discount watch review. Now this one is another brand, it is called the R. Lanch Men's Luxury Magnifying Glass whatever watch um, that we got on AliExpress. Now on there it was only $12, um, which is a really good price. This watch is supposed to be replicating what a lot of other companies have tried to replicate the style and design of, and it's a classic Rolex. This Rolex specifically would be the Rolex Submariner in uh, Oyster Steel, or Oster, however you pronounce it, uh, with the green dials and green case and the green bezel as well. Now, they call it a Submariner because it's meant to be a dive watch. The real Rolex specifically, actually, you can dive to, they, I think it's warranted under 1,000 feet, 300 meters. Um, and this one just says water resistant. Now, it is only a $12 watch. I wouldn't put it in water um, if you were thinking about it. But it says it does have a little bit of that, so, you know, who knows, we might try that out. Uh, now, like I said, this one here we got for 12 Canadian, it's AliExpress, it takes a little bit of shipping to get here, that's just part of, you know, what you have to deal with, it took over a month for it to get to me. However, the real Rolex itself costs over just around $11,000, so quite a savings. Okay, so first let's talk about some of the, you know, major differences that you get in a normal Rolex that you don't find on this one. The first major difference is going to be the Rolex logo. Uh, we don't publicly endorse companies that try and directly rip off like a Rolex. Um, so it says Arlanch on it. That's their brand. And that's okay. But that's really the only main difference when you're looking at the inside of the case here. The dials are the exact same. The placement, everything is the same. The only difference is at the bottom on the inside. It doesn't say water resistant 1,000 meters, or sorry, 1,000 feet, 300 meters. It just says water resistant. The other big change is going to be on the band itself. It's just a normal clasp on the back, of, you know, normal metal one that you'd get on any basic watch. It doesn't have the Rolex uh, one, which does make sense. And those are going to be the major differences. Now, they actually did get a lot of things right with this that you'd find on a Rolex. So your plug on the side to change the time of it is encased in the side of the case like you would get on a normal Rolex. It does have the bezel, which turns on the top, which I will go through. And you do have the little magnifying over top of the date timer as well. Um, now, I do have some other dive watches and this one is definitely a little stiff. Uh, when you are trying to turn this, it's a little bit hard to turn. You gotta put a little bit of force into it. But when you do turn it, it actually makes like a really satisfying noise. Let's see if we can. So it, it sounds pretty satisfying, but at the same time, you know, with some of my other dive watches, you can very freely turn it, move it, adjust it, uh, which is something you don't have in this one. But like I said, for $12, you're going to have to make some concessions. Now let's talk a little bit about the things that I really like about this watch. So first off, I really like the green. They actually nailed the colors of the green on the front. Uh, the green on the inside, it kind of has that little bit of shimmer, a little bit of shine to it that I really like. So I'm happy that I picked this one. And they do have a, a bunch of other styles available, like the classic, you know, gold, titanium options that you would get in a Rolex. Uh, they have a bunch of them, but the green is pretty classic and one I wanted to try out for myself. So I'm really happy with it. The other thing is actually going to be the white. Now, normally when you go with really cheap, inexpensive watches, you want to stay away from a metal band. And that's because it's really hard to fake metal, um, quality metal, in the same way that you can fake a quality rubber band with some of the other watches we reviewed. All the cheap metal ones we've got have felt like literally nothing in your hand. It feels like a quarter. Uh, but this one, it's actually very heavy. It feels like some of my fossil watches and some of my other watches that are metal that are a little bit more expensive, you know, that $150 to $200 range. So the band's actually not terrible quality. However, with the band, the only place where it starts to show that it's, you know, lack of quality, I guess, would be where it attaches on the inside of the case here. There's a lot of play here side to side on both sides. But in the linkages itself, there's not a lot of play, which is really nice. Just on this connection point, you know, there's a little bit of back and forth movement in there. You can hear. But aside from that, you don't really hear it when you're walking down the hallway. Other watches that are really cheap, when you're walking down the hallway, people can hear you coming. They hear that clang. Uh, but this one's actually really good. And yeah, there's a, a lot of really great things about this watch. This is actually, to be honest, my favorite purchase so far. Now... We do have someone else that has this exact same watch that bought it before me, and they didn't have the same experience. Their band was a lot worse quality. It had a lot more play in it, so I can't guarantee that 100% of them will be as good as this one. All I know is the one that I got here for $12 through AliExpress, link down below, 
is really good. Now, another thing to mention, guys, before we take off is that if you sign up for our newsletter, whenever we are buying these watches now to try out, if you sign up for that newsletter, it enters you in to win whatever watch we review that week. So don't forget to sign up for that newsletter. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm Tone Balone. Thanks for watching.